You are not happy, Jane. It pains me to see it. It is just that I did... I'm afraid I still do prefer Mr. Bingley to any other man I've ever met, and Lizzie... I did believe he... Well, I was mistaken. That is all. I'm resolved to think of him no more. There. Enough. I shall be myself again, as if I had never set eyes on him. Truly, Lizzie, I promise I shall be well. I shall be myself again. I shall be perfectly content. Well, Lizzie, what do you think now about this sad business of Jane's? I cannot find out that she saw anything of Bingley in London. Well, he's a very undeserving young man, and I don't suppose there's the least chance of her getting him now. If he should come back to Netherfield, though. I think there's little chance of that, Mama. Oh, well, just as he chooses. No one wants him to come. Oh, I shall always say you used my daughter extremely ill. And if I was her, I would not have put up with it. Well, my comfort is she will die of a broken heart and then he'll be sorry for what he's done. So, the Collinses live quite comfortable, do they? Well, I only hope it will last. And I suppose they talk about having this house too when your father is dead. They look on it as quite their own, I dare say. You could hardly discuss such a subject in front of me, Mama. Well, I make no doubt they talk about it constantly when they're alone. Well, if they can be easy with an estate that is not lawfully their own, so much the better. I should be ashamed of having one that was only entailed upon me. <laughs> 